What's up guys? Sean here. Thought I'd make a quick video, not involving the Cardinal, but making a video about what's uh, in my toolbox currently at work. I'm an aircraft structures mechanic and so I thought it'd be cool to make a video. I've seen a lot of videos online of people who, uh, who've made kind of like a toolbox tour for AMPs, but uh, I am an AMP, but I'm also, I primarily do structures, so let's, let's go for it. I actually do currently have the, uh, the biggest toolbox at Harbor Freight Cells. And so, it's got a lot of stuff in it, but one of the things that I do have that I'm actually currently fixing, big old rivet squeeze. These things are awesome. This one's pretty docile. It's got a ton of power, but it closes really slowly, so it works really well. Top drawer over here. This is kind of my junk drawer. There's all sorts of stuff in here, um, but I do got the essentials uh, just kind of scattered across here. I got the new Makita uh, LXT brushless motors. These things are awesome uh, if you're doing a job that, where you don't have air. Great for breaking out uh, fastures and stuff. Got a couple mirrors here, Aladine pen. Um, skin spoons that I use a ton of. And sealant spoons that I also use all the time. Uh, got my Bible there. And uh, a bunch of random punches, which I don't use a whole lot anymore. And I'll show you why here in a minute. But this drawer's just got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in it. I don't really start getting to the structure stuff until a bit, but I'm just going to go through everything I have. This drawer right here is, uh, again, just kind of a random drawer. This is kind of like my medical drawer, I suppose. Um, this stuff is for babies' butts, but it works really good when you when you have a cut or something on your hand or uh, you have a burn from uh, some Turco paint stripper. works really good, and this is a must for everybody uh, that works on airplanes, especially commercial. This stuff is great for neutralizing sky drawl, which sucks. Next drawer down, this is kind of a messy drawer, but a lot of it is just some, a couple measuring tools that I have, uh, calipers, a lot of gauges, um, and then a lot of steel that I use. When we pull stringers in and out of airplanes here, we kind of protect the skin by sliding this under a stringer, and then as we pull the string out, we slide this with the stringer, and it really helps uh, keep the skin from getting gouged, because stringers do have... Um, you know, sharp edges, so we want to keep the skin safe. Radius gauges I use all the time when we're doing um, doubler repairs and whatnot. Next door down. Snap on. Uh, you got my picks, my screwdrivers here, and then of course the, the all in one right here works really well. I got a ton of clamps, kind of disorganized, but that's where they go. I use these all the time for a lot of the repairs that we have. Harbor Freight works really good. Also, Vice Grip is, there's not really a substitute for those. Hammer drawer, nothing big there. Kind of another uh, messy drawer, but it, random scrapers and, and brushes and stuff. Um, for when we're doing painting and, and getting rid of sealant. This is stuff I keep for cold working in here. Um, have a I think this is about a 25 pound lead shot bag. It's great for cold work and dents and stuff. And then I've got a smaller one here for, um, it's a little bit more compact, doesn't have as much movement, but it works really well for those pin dents. Uh, and then a piece of wood for cold working and, and a hammer. I also have another tool. I believe it's down here. It is down here, but I'll show you guys here in a second. And then just a air vac, which every structure mechanic is definitely gonna need. This will work from the bottom up on this side. Here is, you yeah, haven't figured it out already. Oh, there it is, it's loud. This is my bucking bar drawer. Um, I keep all my tungsten here. If you're a structures mechanic or looking to be one, having tungsten is a priceless item. Um, I, I don't know the ratio by weight, but these are quite a bit denser and they work really well. You can get them from tungstenbuckingbar.com or the yard store has a bunch. Um, a lot of old guys, um, will have uh, flap weights or, or uh, control surface weights that are either depleted uranium or tungsten and they work really well. Other than that, um, I usually keep some of these um, these desiccants in here to keep the bars from rusting and these ones are, are a little bit rusty but not too bad. Uh, they usually polish off when I need to use them. But I have a pretty good selection. That's my whole bottom drawer. This drawer probably weighs 100 pounds or so. And uh, I keep Clecos down here and that extra jaw for that uh, squeeze that you guys saw up top. In this box here is what I was referring to. 
uh, for cold working dens. So I went on Amazon and purchased a kit that is used for pulling dents. And it works really well. Um, you, you hot glue these little pads into the center of the dent, and then it comes with a bunch of them, and I'm not going to go too far into it, but uh, you attach the pad to this end here, and you can actually put this up against the aircraft skin and pull, and, and pull slowly, you don't want it to snap, but you pull it out and actually helps cold work the dents. And in, um, in the commercial industry, almost every airplane that comes through here has a dent right that we have to fill out, and we have to go through and figure out if each one is in or out of limits, so that is super helpful. Uh, to put them back in. Now this is getting a little bit more into structure stuff. These I don't usually use. They're not tagged. Those are from years and years ago. But I do have my drill box which has all of my drill bits in it that I use. I use uh, QD motors which are great. Um, which are these little guys here if somebody's watching this video that doesn't know what they are. And they attach to the drills that I'm going to show you here in a second. Down here, next one. Got all sorts of reamers, which um, I've accumulated over the last few years from jobs that we've worked and uh, from other guys, older guys in here who are retiring. Um, these things are not cheap, and a lot of the stuff that we do here is um, repair jobs on on big airplanes, and so we're going to have to or custom or a lot. So I keep everything that I use, but if we were to pay retail for every single one of these we'd probably be in the three four thousand dollar range as far as the reamer price went but it's always good having them these are also pretty great they're drill bushing so if something needs to be drilled perfectly at a 90 uh, or a hole needs to be cleaned up it is super helpful we got some slip bushings here which are great for uh, piloting certain size holes and sorry and picking up um, fittings and stuff that are pretty thick right here we've got our tugboat which is uh, wonderful also if I have a hole that needs to be pulled in one direction or another you'll throw a throw a drill bushing in one end like that and then you'll put a Coleco or a, a bolt or something in a hole that's nearby and you'll be able to pick up the edge of that hole without having the drill bit try and find the center of that hole and mess everything up they work really great and the other unfortunate part is uh, they're pretty expensive I'm not going to pull everything out of here because I got a little bit of stuff, but sealing guns always a, a great thing to have. As a structured mechanic, having a die grinder is, is a must for sure. Um, Dotco 360 motor. Dotco is one of my favorite brands of motors you can buy, but there's all sorts of different brands. I have an ACAT here. Actually, I have a couple. I have an ACAT 90 here. Then This is a smaller 90, but it gets in there a lot of good tight spots. And if I can't get into those spots with that, I'll usually get into using this one. Or we have a kit in our stores that is also a, like a 10-piece drill kit that works really great. Uh, here's another ACAT 45 degree, which I don't use too often. Uh, mostly because you can't put a lot of power on these heads. They will warp and they will get destroyed pretty quickly. For uh, bigger fittings that I drill up here, we have uh, an HD head. It's a Jiffy brand, I believe on a Dotco motor. This is a 480 RPM motor and it works really great. And then of course you move over here and you have yourself a slower RPM pistol grip. This is a half inch motor for reaming all sorts of good stuff. Greg, what's going on? Are you selling stuff? No, I'm not selling stuff. I'm going through for a friend of mine. Uh, what comes in a structured mechanics box. Nice, I gotta give it a paper list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you have your miscellaneous rivet guns here, 3X, Jiffy, which is for getting in smaller spots, and then a, a 4X. Bigger, bigger companies will uh, have a, a 9X for knocking huge high locks or bolts out, but uh, we don't usually need something like that here, so I don't have one. I would like to get one at some point my primary pistol grip. Uh, I replaced my broken Cooper Tools one with a Pan Am and these are about 125 bucks on their website and it's a phenomenal drill. And I have a 
little ratcheting um, pistol grip here that works for breaking off high lock collars. It works actually really good, especially if you have a ton of them. You can pick those up for about 100 bucks. Here's a, uh, an IR 3 8 drill with a QD end on it. This is great for just getting a little bit more power when you got bigger rivets or uh, like titanium or um, maybe Monel rivets to drill out. And I got myself a Clico runner a little while back. This was broken, but I ended up fixing it after I bought it. Got it for like 25 bucks on eBay. And then if you're a structures mechanic, you for sure need one of these. Not necessarily for doing paint, but definitely but definitely for something using um, using it to blend corrosion out. Joe? Who am I saying hi to? <laughs> YouTube. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this video is becoming a little bit long, so I think I'll probably cut it here and we'll finish it another day.